All around us, around you and me, the worlds of media, science and economy are resounding with the prefix nano. All I hear is references to this invisible scale, a billionth of a meter, just a few atoms wide. The frenzy is global. Thanks to nanos, science and technology foresee a fascinating new world, infinite new research fields, and miraculous new possibilities. From materials to energy, the environment to medicine, via electronics and agriculture, nanos should make everything more efficient, more resistant, cheaper, and less polluting. Nothing in our world will be free from nanos, a prospect that sometimes appears quite alarming. Welcome to the nano world, to the nano worlds. Welcome to our journey of discovery into the world of nano medicine. My wife, my first wife, Maria Luisa, got sick with cancer and she died. She was 32 at the age where she died. We had three small children. Giacomo, Kim, and Chiara. And when I was asking the doctors, they were telling me there was nothing we could do, that she was going to die soon, even though if you had looked at her, she didn't even look sick. The problems that the doctors were talking to me about are technological problems, are engineering problems, how you find it early, how do you vector the drugs to the right place. And I was sitting in the middle of a ton of great technologies at Berkeley, Stanford, and around the country, all of these new chip-making technologies that were being made. And that is when I started asking myself, can we use any of these technologies to help with the challenges that I hear about from the medical front? Technology serving healthcare. Apparently, there's nothing new here, except that this technology is on a nanometric scale. And biomedical research has been working on this scale, a molecular scale, for more than a decade. Nanoscience is promising new solutions. The main areas of research are clearly defined. Earlier and more precise diagnosis, more effective treatment using smaller doses, repairing what has been damaged or destroyed more efficiently, skin, muscles, bones, and why not organs too.